All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. I got five questions today, so let's get straight into it with Clone66 Studios, and he says, ASA, can you drop a Lego set? I have dropped a Lego set in the past, and I never want to do it again because it is a pain in the butt to rebuild, and some of my pieces kind of got chipped and all that stuff. It just was kind of a failure. I'm not a fan of doing that, so no, I'm not going to. Next question is from Bowie Bricks, and he says, ASA, what is your most expensive set? So honestly, I don't fully know, but I'm gonna guess here. So going based on retail, the R2-D2, because when that set first came out, it was only $200, but now, and so when I bought it, it was $200, but now Lego actually upped the price a few months ago, and now it's $240. The money is always right! Technically, that's my most expensive Lego set, at least from retail, even though I didn't pay that much. I don't know if that counts. I'm not gonna try to do the research and figure out what my most valuable valuable set is because you know prices fluctuate they go up and down all the time i'm just going based on retail and that's probably it next question is from hershey animations and he says my favorite series has returned what is your favorite stop motion animation channel so first of all i just want to say i'm not too sure what you mean by the series has returned because i upload asa episodes every other wednesday and i've actually never missed an upload every other wednesday i upload i've never actually missed a date where i was supposed to schedule the video. Anyways, to answer your question, I don't actually watch a lot of stop motion, but I will say your stop motions are pretty cool. So I guess I'll go with you just for the heck of it. And for anyone that doesn't know, or rather I should say for anyone here that's not subbed to Hershey for some reason, go sub to him. He makes really cool content and stop motions and all kinds of cool stuff. So go give him a sub if for some reason you're not already subbed to him. Do it. Next question is from Mega Maniacs, and he says, ASA, opinions on the UCS Razor Crest. Oh, boy! So now that the set is officially out and everything, and like you can buy it on lego.com for $600, which is absolutely crazy, now I can kind of give a little bit more of an opinion. I still feel like I can't fully give an opinion because I don't have the set and I'm not going to get it. I'm not that excited about it because I just, I'm not a huge fan of the Razor Crest. It's just a meh kind of set to me or ship in Star Wars. Like, it's not absolutely beautiful. It's not really cool or anything. It's kind of clunky. It's kind of weird looking. The Lego set though does look cool, but I just think it's crazy for $600, especially the fact that you get so many stickers with a set like that. In my opinion, a set like that should be such high quality that it shouldn't have stickers. I feel like that's kind of a disappointment. The minifigures are kind of a disappointment. I think they're kind of ugly. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of this set and the price is too much. So I'm just like, I'm definitely going to pass on it. Of course, it is hard to judge though, for sure, because if I had it in person, I might actually be like, wow, I love this thing. And having that Lego set might actually make me like the ship in Star Wars more because a lot of times I like things from Star Wars because of Lego Star Wars. It's not the other way around. It's because Lego Star Wars makes me like it. If I ever do get the set, which I don't think I will, maybe I'll have a different opinion. But until then, I'm just going to say I don't really care for it. And our last question is from TG Collects. There, I said TG. I always say TG. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, and he says, ASA, what licensed Lego theme would you like to see? Honestly, I don't really know because I just love Lego Star Wars and I just will always probably collect Lego Star Wars. That's pretty much the only theme that I do collect. And so I rather just save my money for Lego Star Wars. So I don't really know how to answer this question. I don't have an idea because I just want more Lego Star Wars. And so that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for all your questions. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. It does help out a lot. Also leave a question or two for the next episode of ASA and I will pin my favorite to the top. Till next time, have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh, and also thank you for the potatoes. I forgot. I almost forgot to say that.